Banger! 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 It's banger season, bitch. I'm back in this joint with Versace Pour Homme. This is supposedly a great gem fragrance, but let's jump straight into the smell test. All right, in the air, it smells citrusy and fresh, like Dolce & Gabbana light blue. The intense version. Mm, up close, yeah, citrusy and fresh, a little bit powdery, a little bit musky. Pretty good, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's a fresh fragrance. Now moving on to projection and performance, guys. I have nothing to say other than it's pretty shite. Guys, I've gotten five hours with it. Five hours complete performance. Like after one hour, you're n it's really a skin scent. So performance and projection, guys, I'm giving it, well, it is a fresh fragrance, so I have to cut it some slack, but I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Now, overall, you know, with the price, it's, I think it's like 70 bucks. Let me, let me check real quick. Yeah, 70 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. That's a pretty good price, guys. I have to give the price an eight out of 10. Um, would I recommend buying this fragrance? If you are looking for an alternative to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, this is a great alternative. And if you're looking for an alternative for it, I would actually say, get Pour Homme. It's a great fresh fragrance, great summertime fragrance, just like uh, Light Blue Intense. Would I suggest blind buying it? No. As always, guys, smell it before you fucking buy it. And you know what? I don't fucking know. I don't have anything else to say. Y'all dickheads better drop a comment because I fucking love reading them and I love responding to them. And you know what? Y'all dickheads also better stay blessed. I'm about to pop the chain for this one. Pop the chain. Stay blessed, man. Pray every day because if you don't, I'm going to dick you down on some gangster shit. You dig? All right. I'll see y'all later.